Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to deploy your games or your software to Pico 4. In this case, we are developing a little app in Unity and then I want to show you step by step what to do with your Pico 4 account and developer account and uh, how to deploy your game so you can see the same as I do right now. I've got my Pico controllers here as you can see and um, yeah, this is the running game I am currently on. So you can see already, this is just an app I've just started here. And um, yeah, it's the sim, it's, it's the sample uh, tutorial that Unity provides you on learn.unity.com, but um, with just deploying to Pico. So if you want to see how that is possible and how you can do that, keep on watching. And after this intro, I want to show you. All right, first we have to do is create a developer account on the Pico page. The link is in the description. You can just click on it and then you will be redirected to this page here. So we click on become a developer. Then we choose our region because I'm not from China. So I will just choose uh, other regions and I will confirm that I've read and agreed to the Pico developer terms. So we click on sign up. So now we are logged in into our developer platform. So the first thing uh, we need to do in here is create an organization. This will be the name of your organization. In my case, I will just uh, write some gibberish inside of here. Now we created our company. Now we want to create an app and this will be the name of the app. So I would just call it test app. Click on create and now our app is created. And later we need the app ID. So after we've created our company and our app, we can now download the SDK and you go to download the, uh, the download button on the first page and then you choose like Unity, Unreal and Native. Uh, this tutorial is for Unity so I'm gonna click on Unity and then you click on download and you have to agree and after that you can choose the location where you want to install it. I've already downloaded it, it's just here and I just unzipped it. So with that in mind we can just go to now document. I don't know why it's called document but yeah it shows you on the quick start how to set up the development uh, environment and in this case you just have to read all of this because i recommend it and uh, it gives you all the information that you need to create your own app and uh, one only thing we have to do on unity when if of course if you are using a new version it's better but uh, some tutorials just rely on older versions so um yeah i, I just want to show you the modules on my 2020 version so i have already opened my unity hub here and i've got both of these versions and in this case um i have like 2020.3 this is the tutorial version that i'm using for the learn.unity.com tutorials i'm currently on on here but i wanted to deploy it on pico because i don't have a um, oculus quest so you just if you have already installed it, you can just go to here and click on add modules. Otherwise, you can install a version and then you can choose OpenJDK and Android SDK and uh, click on install. I've already done that. So in case you are developing already a game that is available for another platform, no problem. You can just uh, skip this step I'm doing right now because I just downloaded the tutorial files from the learn.unity.com page and I just want to extract everything here. Otherwise there will be a project example in, in the documentation, create a project and then you can choose uh, 3D or VR and you just uh, yeah fill out all these steps but we will go to this step right now because this is the ne uh, next thing we have to do. So my project is decompressed so I can now go to open. Let me check that one. This is current platform. I gonna choose Android. Change version. No problem. So 
So now my project has loaded. Um, there's nothing special in it, but if you like, you can just uh, open some scenes like uh, this one here, create with Unity, and it already has this XR rig, with which, which we have to remove later on. Um, but the first thing we have to do is go to Window, Package Manager, and at our okay let's wait till it has fetched all his packages okay that's it okay in project we have to switch uh, to there and now we go to plus and click on add package from disk and we go a little bit back and go to our pico unity integration sdk folder and open this package.json put it in let it wait for a second so now this window opens and as you can see you have to add your app id now so i go back to my account here as you can see i just copy the app id and put that one in click on apply and if that is applied we can click on close and now you should see pico interact uh, integration the next thing we need to do but yeah it's not it's not uh, that big of a deal but uh, i recommend you to do that is uh, go to the xr interaction toolkit and update the uh, toolkit because there are some new features and everything click just here on update this will provide us with some things like when you're using controllers the grabbing or when you are moving uh, that you get like a silhouette a little so you don't get motion sick this this fast yeah you can make a backup i won't because this is not a big project here right now so you can click on samples and then you can go to uh, starter imp can import the starter assets the xr device simulator this will be used in uh, the tutorial so it will already be uh, available here and the tun tunneling vignette uh, what i was talking about the silhouette or the vignette i don't know next thing we have to do is go to our xr plugin management so we go to edit and then project settings and go to pico and check this one this will be the plugin provider that we have just installed right now after that we go to file build settings and choose android as platform and if you have already connected your pico it should always uh, already be here so you can just click on refresh and go to the pico this is the serial number that we need later and if you like this will be an uh, option that will show on the screen this will just show development built uh, on, on on the display if possible you can already add your scenes to the build so um yeah i just have this one here but i don't need to add more because this is just this example project next thing is we go to project settings again and go to player now you can choose the company name this is just your company name the game name and of course the version if you like you can add your icons here and then we have to choose the android version this will be minimum api level will be 8.0 oreo and the target api will be the highest if possible the scripting backend need to be ch uh, changed to ilcpp um, in the documentation there's information about that because it will um, yeah render the games faster and build them faster don't ask me explicitly what is doing because uh, you just need to read uh, the documentation next we remove I, uh, arm v7 and activate arm 64 if you like you can go to the publishing settings and click on custom main manifest to provide a custom manifest the manifest file is just for like information what type of access rights are needed and what's the name of the uh, game or the app that you're developing this uh, can be done like you can do this in unity as well but if you like you can add your custom one here so now that our um, project is set up correctly we want to create our uh, sample scene here so you can just like uh, you know what to do there so in my example the tutorial files already have like a plain and the xr rig but currently the xr rig has been deprecated as you can see here and because of that i will just remove it and create a new xr origin 
So our XR origin now needs a new comp uh, component and this will be the PXR manager. I have already put it in here, PXR manager and that's it. Now we can go to the camera offset and choose the left hand controller. And in our project files there are already some prefabs so we can use them. I will go to the settings here and choose a preset. This will be the XRE default left, or you can just go back here so you can see the whole text. Default left controller, the same one we do on the right one. So and now we have to scroll a little bit down and check for model prefab. This will be the model that you're using in your hands. So if you want to use hands, you can use hands, or if you want to use another controller, you can do that as well. But uh, because we are currently developing for Pico, we want to have the prefabs from Pico. So they are hidden in packages, Pico inter uh, integration, assets, resources, and prefabs. And there you can see both models, like for the left controller and right controller. And we just move this one here. And for the right one, we scroll down and choose it here. So this will just activate both controllers that you have seen in the scene in the intro um, to show the Pico controller. So one big feature Pico is providing is the anti-privacy tools. And because of them, we have to go to PXR uh, SDK, go to platform settings and add our app ID again here if it's not uh, in there. Then we have to entitlement check simulation, check that one and create a new device serial number. Click on plus and add the serial number of our Pico device that we have just added. So in my case, I just want to. So in case you want to run a command line inside of this folder, you just type in CMD and it will just open the correct path right now. So, and we have to type in ADB devices. And this will just show us the serial number of our Pico device. So I copy this one, put it inside of here. You have to do that because the anti-piracy settings will um, stop you from checking or testing your app when you started it. So yeah, okay, it's it's like a little bit annoying, but you have to do that. So if you got your uh, devices or multiple devices, you just have to add them like in here. Again, we go to file and build settings and check if our Pico is uh, checked. Uh, if you don't have the ADB uh, exe file, you can just copy that uh, uh, yeah, serial number from here. So the last thing we have to do is go to our settings. So I go to library, all settings and enable the developer tools. You can go to general about and then click on the software version multiple times or the device serial number, I'm not sure. And then you will, oh, it's disabled now. You can see the developer tools will open up and you have to check USB debug to be able to install your app and start it then. After that, we want to add our Pico to the uh, via USB to our PC. And there it is. And now we can choose our scene as well. So if you if your scene is not here uh, already given, so you can just go to uh, add open scene and uh, you can add them. Choose your device. If it's not listed here, you can try it with uh, refreshing check your device here and click on build and run or build if you like you go to build and run uh, in my case because i just want to deploy it directly on my pico um, we want to create a new folder that is called like build or something i don't know and the name of the app so i call it test one and this will take some time now so now unity starts and as you can see, I can now have my controllers in game. And oh, yeah, of course, this game, is, it's just nothing here because uh, I didn't create something. But as you can see, everything is working. My controllers are working here. You can see uh, when I click something, when I use my thumbstick or on the other side, and this will show 
that uh, yeah our pico 4 or pico 3 if you like software will work with unity and this is how you do it that's it for now i hope you enjoyed the video and if you got questions just comment them or come to my discord the link is as well in the description and if you enjoyed it just leave a like or subscribe to this channel for more videos and i will see you in the next one goodbye